Dad, was our family ever able to see the Guardian Tigers? I, yo, I did not hesitate one. <laughs> Damn. Awe, brasa, I'm Raf Jim. Welcome back to Neko Jishi. And Lao finally is looking at Leopard with a respectful gaze. He's no longer an object or. <laughs> he's no longer objectified or a dashing bachelor. He's now a respectable Leopard spirit. And that. I'm not saying. I'm gonna say that Adrian who sent him here. Hopefully, this all turns out good in the end. Yo, I just figured it out now. What if it's like, um, no, I'm not gonna say figure it out, it's just a theory, a game theory, if you will. But, like, what if it's like a legion or like what's a group of spirits that's like leopard? Like, they all like from like the same leopard family, they passed on due to like, I don't know, poaching or some other nonsense, but then a uh, hunter of like that region try to save a cup or some nonsense like that so then like the adult spirit now helps the people from that region to prosperous areas and then like as each like cub grows up like as each cub like grows up have kids and like dies they become spirits and then they continuously help like the wukai people yo it would actually, I wouldn't say that would be like why but that would be like a nice little thing like this is our legacy, this is what our spirits would do. Or maybe like the best of them, one to die like in an honorable manner. But anyways, let me just continue reading this and I'm like, I'm just like getting too deep into this. Afterwards, I go back to my seat, wave to Senpai and focus on the club leader's choreography tutorials for the rest of the meeting. Hey. Oh, he does have a scar! Was this? Hey, 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 hey. I was sitting at the de at my desk just as my mobile started to ring. It's it's a call from back home. Honestly, I don't know. I honestly I don't want to pick up. But it's been ages since I've talked to anyone from my own family. After a moment of hesitation, I pick up the phone. Just wanted to edit that. Hello? Lao, my boy! Your dad's been missing you! How you been? Yeah, dad, it's me. Yeah, dad, I'm fine. Well, I can't really say having to suddenly deal with those three cats is fine. But should I talk about that to my to dad? No, don't need to dad, no, you were fairly right. It's, it's all downhill from there, if they know, if they know, they'll, they, they won't see you the same way again. I really want <clears throat> to find out if my family does have a history of having the ability to see guardian tigers and other spirits. But if dad finds out that I, that I can do that, wouldn't he just force me to go back home? My older brother handles, oh my mic is drifting away, my older brother handles all the temple work these days. He takes, he takes it super seriously. It'd be stupid to put myself in competition with him anyway. Ah, uh, my boy. Oh, my boy. Something wrong now? You seem quiet. Ah, uh, yeah, it's okay. It's just... I might as well ask. No, I shouldn't ask. Talk about... Talk about this with Dad. <laughs> Ooh, should I ask Dad about my powers? I nah, I don't want Dad involved. So let's. No, the guards are gonna. Those three cats are gonna manipulate me. I know that for sure. I might as well ask. Dad, was our family ever able to see the Guardian Tigers? I yo, I did not hesitate one. <laughs> Damn. I hesitate a little bit, but I figure that asking him directly is the best option. See? The Guardian Tigers? I mean, um, can we see Guardian Tigers during Divination? Has anyone in our family been able to see them before? 
seeing guardian tigers during divination what are you talking about divination is divination is divination how could someone see the guardian tigers uh so the answer is no it's a no why are you so interested in all this in this all of a sudden <laughs> have people been telling you things yeah no. oh no i'm just curious i mean i've been i i've been in a chitong family for a long time maybe there's something more to the guardian tigers oh well you did remind me of something though when i was a boy my grandfather well your great grandfather always said that he was watched upon by the guardian tigers if it were true he must have lived he must have lived well honest and kind i don't believe it anyway well that isn't that isn't to say that i don't believe in the guardian tigers though i mean surely the guardian tigers are busy I highly doubt that uh I highly doubt they would spend the time watching us watching on us mortals. Your great grandfather used to <laughs> used to use stories like that to keep kids in line anyway. Modern people aren't as e as dogmatic as he was. You know, you know, I remember my grandpa like used to tell those stories at that. In fact, he'll tell any story. He'll tell a story about anything and you like keep your focus on it. <coughs> Hope they didn't pick up on the mic. But um he would tell any story about it and my favorite one from him was like when you would say he was with his brothers and they were like housekeep they were like taking care of the house of a house when like the owner was away so then what happened was he said there was always knocking on the window and like when they would go to the window there would be no one there and they would go back to the seat to go back to where they were seated so this happened through like this happened like and up until late into the night so what happened was when it was early morning you know almost like the actual witching times around three o'clock in the morning four o'clock side so then like as you like when like my old my my opa him and his brother kept on trading places the whole time like one go up one go check like one gets up and checks the other one lies down like rest in it so like when it was his turn to go and see this is a very dumbed down version of it but like when he went up and to see who's there by the window is there something knocking against it is there anything or anyone that's messing with him he saw a man in the window with a big head where the mean where the moon's supposed to be and he was just pointing at them like that the whole time and then like when my and then after that like my after that that was like the end of the story when my grandpa said and then like I look at him I'm like oh ah, what is that supposed to mean? He's like oh, nah, go to just point fingers to us and the light is on in the bar. <laughs> oh my word. It was, it was like so mundane but like I loved it so much. Kinda explains why I, I love doing this whole YouTube this. <laughs> oh, it's... But don't you tell that to anyone else? Otherwise people might start thinking about us as a bunch of swindlers. We may be Jetong of Guardian Tigers, but that doesn't mean we can actually talk to them. Anyway, don't blab about this to people. Understood? I got you. Your dad says understood. You, you know, that means you said something. You said something offensive, my boy. I, I got it. That's a good boy. You said you're good. Boy. <laughs> oh my god. And now school, you keeping your grades up? 
I mean, I cheated on a quiz just a few days ago. Oh, you know, it's it's days, believe them. But I don't think I should tell Dad about that. It's been going alright. Life has been pretty good here, and Dance Club has been going well. Glad to hear it! Just don't spend all your life in, in the club. Focus on studying, okay? <laughs> like, I know you get bitches in the club, but like, just focus on the books. Books, then bitches. You hear me, son? Like, that's how I got your mother. <laughs> yeah, the- Mm-hmm. So when will you be down? When will you be down home next? Okay. When, I think it's when will you be back home again? Okay. So, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure when I would have some time. It's almost teeming. Okay. You have you have a break then, alright? You should come back if you would do. Okay. I'll see if I can. Alright. Remember to come home sometimes. And make sure you get enough sleep, man. You sound dog tired, man. My boy, now you must, must sleep more. Drink water also. Yeah. I'll make sure to sleep early tonight. So, daddy, please get off the phone. That's good. That's good. Bye for now, son. Bye, daddy. I let out a sign to the otherwise silent room. I can't see the scar because on the model himself, because like there's like a little video that comes on every time the name is. <coughs> there's a demo or some nonsense like that, like a little anime clip, anime intro, but I see it in his picture next to his name. Oh, are you alright, Lao? Oh, did something happen to worry you? Ah, Daddy said no. No one in my family has been able to see God in Tigers. Tiger Nod seemingly unsurprised by this. Oh, it's been too long since the last one. Oh, hence why I said your ability is so precious. But... Can I really see you? This could all just be my... If they don't exist, why can't I see them in front of me? Just as soon as I start to get used to having them around, Dad's got me doubting myself all over again. Wait, again? What we... Oh, and we first got the powers. Oh, of course you can. Who else would be talking to... Would be talking right now? Oh, there is nothing to be worried about. Oh, seeing is believing. Oh, I cannot blame your dad or your grandfather. They cannot see us. Mm. Lao, do you really? Oh, Lao, do you really believe I am just illusion of yours? Some illusion of yours. Oh, I'm certainly a dashing bachelor. <sighs> Well, a little bit, like a smidge. Honestly, I am worried about it. Still, I didn't expect him to address it that right. Oh, it is pointless to worry. Oh, proving that we are not illusions is simple. How so? I sim- Oh, I simply have to do something you cannot. For example, Oh, for example, taking a book from your shelf and reading a page, and reading your page. Oh, surely you could not remember it exactly. Still, I've read all the books, all those books already. There's a chance I could have just remembered the pages. Wait, we bought him the textbook. Oh, he's gonna prove his existence to us. Isn't there a better way you can prove your existence? Oh, excellent point. Oh, there are several more options. Oh, how about you just open a website you've never seen before? You can close your eyes and I can read it to you. Simple. Oh, I'm certain that will work. 
If that does not convince you, I can do much more. Oh, like what? I don't know. Have you ever had a spirit bond? I'm not even. No, 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 no. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Damn, you again, working. He's right, Lau. What's there for you to worry about? But I know you were your person, Senpa. Well, I didn't catch everything you said on that phone, but it sounded serious. You okay, Lau? Did you took a cold. Well, my well, <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, man, this game, this game. <laughs> it knows. Don't tell me it's so bad you're seeing things. No, like, yo, have any, has anybody ever got a cold when they see stuff? I don't have a cold. People just don't. People don't just start seeing things from colds. So you hit your head? Ooh, Lau, you might, Lau might have brain damage. You're the one who, oh, you're the one who hit the head. Come on, Senpai, stop messing with me. Lau, I don't understand why you're worrying so much. You can see us. That's the truth. Even if Liku Lau, if Liku Lau, even if Liko Lao and the old and the old man were or your illusions, I'm a real person that everyone can see, and I'm standing right here. Senpai, you're human to everyone else, not a leopard yet. Come on, are you really this dense? Do you actually believe Yan Suchi would just move in with you like this? You think he'd tell you stories about rejuvenating a temple in Mioli? I'd be impressed if you made all this up. Well, you're right. And we see how right he is in the next part. Thank you, Blaza, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Cute band.